the unction to vanish. When he stands, demons flee away. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Situations turn around. Amen. And today, if you are believing God for a miracle, get ready to receive the man of God with a shout of praise of the Jesus. With love that comes from the day of Valentine, Amen. I greet you Amen. in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I hear somebody say Amen? Amen. We are so grateful to the Lord God Almighty, first of all, for bringing us into a year of blessing. Amen. Amen. All who have been here during the weekday services and the evening prayers, it was a joint service. But this year, I don't want to come here and rush and go to Central, but I want to finish with you and have fellowship. Amen. Amen. So um, I told you during the uh, fasting and prayer week that I'll go to Central, and then that will be for them. And when I come here, it will be for you. Amen. Amen. And I want to honor my word to be with you. And then at the end of the service, we also have fellowship. Amen. Because some of the anointing doesn't come by laying of hands, Amen. but it comes by interacting with the men of God. Amen. And the presence of the men of God bring the presence of God in the lives of the people of God. Amen. I can vividly say that um, God's grace upon our lives is not just lay of hands upon us, but most of the time spending hours with great men of God, staying with us at home, eating with us, drinking with us, sharing their lives with us, several hours. At times, some of them, if they are on vacation, they will come and visit us some six weeks, some one month, some one week, some, and you know, by interacting with them, by the time they will leave your presence, you catch the anointing. Amen. I remember some of the days I spent as area head in Germany, and the former uh, immediate past chairman person to me was in my area. So I normally go there every week to visit him, and maybe two times a week, that's on business. But there are certain times, if I visit him, um, we spend hours in the night, let's say from 10 to maybe 2 a.m., and we start chatting, and start impacting my life. And before he goes to bed, I say, Nee, lay down, let me pray for you. And then he lay hands on me and pray for me. At times we pray a gender prayer, but I realize that any time I leave his presence, I'm going, I'm not the same. Amen. Amen. The anointing of God comes in my life. Amen. And some of these great men of God, um, Apostle Atwadison, uh, if you are known him, will come and stay with us for weeks. By the time he leaves, I catch some of his fire. Amen. Some of the prophets will come and stay with us. And before they leave, I catch some of his, their fire. Amen. And so, if I stand here, I am in the combination of apostolic and prophetic. Amen. 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 Ah. Evangelistic and pastoral. Amen. Ah. And teaching. So, it, 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 people wonder, oh, what kind of man are you? Bam. It is because I'm a man of many colors. Amen. <laughs> I can become a youth right now, and I become an adult right now. Amen. I can become a child right now, because if you have the anointing, God can fit you in every box. Amen. And I pray that this Valentine, God will bless you. Amen. You see, many people, one of my um, pastors, I will call him my junior brother. He's a pastor, he's a youth pastor in Germany. He called me this week when Germany he called me and he asked me, um, Big Bro, I want to ask you, should Christian celebrate Valentine? And then when he asked me, I said, I was paying something at the uh, 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 cashier's place. I said, wait a minute, let me finish paying and let me explain to you. And many people try to spiritualize all spiritualized things. <laughs> Can I hear somebody say, <laughs> 
Many people try to theologize on theological things. Mother's Day is not a festival in the Bible. There is a Bible festival called Feast of Fury. You can find it in the book of Esther. It is not God that ushered them to celebrate the Feast of Fury. But when Haman plotted against the Jews and wanted to kill all the Jews, and within the twinkle of an eye, by the prayer of the saints, God turned the residence of Haman to become the residence of Mordecai. And that same thing God will do for you. Amen. Can I hear somebody say, I receive it? I receive it. And God turned the tables round about. Yes. The one who was dominating them, they dominated them. And they say, if Mordecai is of Jewish descent, since you have started falling, and the same people who advise him, the wife said, since Mordecai is of Jewish descent, since you have started falling before him, you will fall and fall and fall. And that day that they were supposed to be killed, that day became their festival. And they changed their sorrow. I can hear the Bible say, he changed my morning to dancing. Yes, oh, can I preach like I'm feeling? Yes, I started preaching by just introduction. <laughs> and the Bible says that they changed their festival. That was supposed to be the day that they were supposed to cry into a festival. And they call it Purim. That means casting love. And after now, it is celebrated in the land of Israel. And every year, when it comes to the Feast of Purim, they will bake bread. And they will bake the bread in the can that is shaped in the form of the ears. And then they will be distributing it among people. It is not God who told them. But when they saw what the Lord has done, they institutionalized this Feast of Purim. And the reason why they bake the bread in the form of the ear is that that day the Lord heard their Amen. prayer. Amen. And now we see it in the Bible called Feast of Fury. There was a priest who lived in the AD uh, 400s. And this guy loved people. He was called Valentine. And this priest, in the days of Emperor Claudius, he was recruiting men for battle. But he realized that he was not popular. And the men were not winning. So he just issued a decree that nobody should marry. So that the men should join the army. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in, in, the, in, in the tournament, if a man is newly married, he should not go to war. Or Leviticus, he should not go to war. But he should be given one year. So that he will bring comfort and happiness to the one who has he has just married. And I remember my wedding day, that was one of my uh, scriptures that the apostle read for me. Mm -hmm. So I said, for one year, I've been given to chill out. <laughs> and if I've been given one year to chill out, no. and then the apostle said, even if the person is an elder, and that those times I was an elder, I said, well, don't worry, I will chill out. <laughs> and those times, you know, Pentecost, those times, men sit one side, a woman sit on the other side, but I have to break the protocol. <laughs> so it's the same. Yeah, no, 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 but now people are now. I just change this back then. So I'm advising you to start changing when you yes, come. Sir. Amen. 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 And I'll go to church and I sit with my wife, and people will look at me. So I don't mind. You don't know who you are talking with. And especially conventions, I'll go and sit on the platform with my wife. And we sat on the platform. No, I was going way back over 20 something years ago. And people are saying, for me, uh, I don't give a damn. I will show forth my love. And I want you this Valentine, if you have a love, I show forth your love. Amen. And so the man was martyred, he was killed. And when he was killed, they realized that he was marrying people. Secretly, he was married. When he was caught, they killed him. And as a martyr, they, they, after his death, they, they named him a saint. They made him a saint. But the good news is that you are a saint. Mm -hmm. You don't have to die before you become a saint. You are saint, call your name. 
Call your name, say. Say. So as you are celebrating Valentine, and, uh, I was uh, uh, going to put my side. Today, let me preach something about Valentine. And, you know, I'm combining some songs so that you can understand it. And so that you know that if you are celebrating everything, God should we always be remembered in your life. Amen. Somebody say Amen. Can I hear somebody say Amen? Amen. So today my preaching will be in a teaching form, and I want it to be lependic, as the Germans will say it, lively into your spirit, so that you never forget this word. Kindly turn with me to the book of Ecclesiastes. <laughs> Ecclesiastes. <coughs> Chapter 12. And we will go. I'll be reading it and I'll be explaining it. And this is one of the favorite parts during youth meetings they normally preach, but I want to take you to another level for you. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12. I'm reading from verse 1. <coughs> Remember now your creator in the days of your youth. When are you supposed to remember your God now? I like the God of the now because some people postpone their miracles. They postpone the dealings of God to the futuristic. But our God is God of the now. Somebody say now. Now. The Bible says now is able to do exceedingly abundantly. About what you can ask and imagine according to his power that works in the inside of you. Now God is able to make all grace to abound towards you. That you have all sufficiency in all things. Now, God of the now. And the good news is that every year, you have 365 days. But this year, which we call the leap year, you have 366. And the reason why it's 366 is not in any month, but this very month. Amen. The month of February. I want you to know that God increased you Amen. by an extra blessing. Amen. Because he has added one more day to the days of the year. And may your blessing be increased. Amen. May your love increase. Amen. May the power of God to save your life increase. Amen. May the hand of the Lord be seen upon your life. Amen. We are so happy, even in our administration, we have our mother Matilda Quay, the past the head, the after head of Ukraine. The wife is here. And I visited them last year. And Ukraine assembly is all PIWC. Amen. Amen. The church in Ukraine is all PIWC. And if you see her, she is in the environment. Amen. Somebody say environment. environment. And if you are here, you are in your environment. Amen. There is something about the fish. The fish was created to live in water. If you take the fish out of the water and bring it on the sun, the fish loses life. Because that is not the original environment. But you don't need to show the fish its own way. Just take him back and release him into the water. And the fish will swim its way through. Amen. If you are a product of PIWC, can I preach it? Yes, yes. Yes. If they take you out of this glorious environment, you die. You lose life. You lose affection. You lose anointing. But they don't have to show you the way back. When they release you into PIWC environment, hey. healing comes alive. Amen. Deliverance comes alive. Amen. Restoration comes alive. Breakthroughs comes alive. Amen. And I pray that the same anointing become your portion right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is my environment. Amen. Amen. I always say PIWC is 
more of my environment. Because I swim. <laughs> I'm a man of very colors, but I love the PI. <laughs> Can I preach one? Yes. So the Bible says, remember now your God in the days of your youth. Both Christians and Jews believe that Ecclesiastes was written by King Solomon. He calls himself the preacher or the teacher. Theologian says that he wrote Song of Songs when he was a youthful guy and was lustful. He was experiencing love between himself and the spouses. So all the romantic things that he said, you know, people think romance is not in the Bible. When you read, and then they, they, if you see, I always say that if you see married people sitting and riding and driving the car, you realize that the two of them have squeezed their face. <laughs> Everybody is wearing bono face. <laughs> they don't talk, they don't smile. But if you see a lady and a gentleman driving and they are, uh, tapping themselves, laughing. They are not husband and wife. They are girlfriend and boyfriend. <laughs> but I want to bring the real love into the church. Amen. Yes. So that you can smile with your partner. Amen. You can kiss your partner with, with, you know, for me I can't do anything at all. <laughs> you can appreciate your partner. Amen. And if you are walking into it, I pray that God will let you get your partner, right partner, that can serve you for the rest of your life. Amen. 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 There is something that is shocked me that is lost. The mama gave me a something. Say, last means it doesn't last long, but love endures forever. Amen. I pray that the endurance of love shall become your portion. Amen. So he wrote that thing when he was a young guy. 